thought since I thought since I had showed you how I made my little arched pieces of glass that um, maybe I would just uh, um, go ahead and solder one um, so I could just maybe make that one little video of the entire process and uh, one of my videos where I was just showing just the process of putting the um, the design the the little artwork together <laughs> somebody was really not very happy that um, I did not give in materials list and you know what step-by-step -step instruction of how to um, make one of these necklaces but uh, that's not really what that video was about it was you know I'm not an educator or anything I'm just uh, I don't know making a video because I feel like it <laughs> um, so um, since she really seemed to be looking for that maybe I'll do that this time so I'm going to try to make this one a little more complete um, so I showed you how I cut the glass and that is made out of these little uh, microscope slides I just dropped this thing and I broke a bunch of them but um, you know, I get these at a teacher supply store when I'm or you can get them at a, a scientific supply place don't say four inch, three inch by one inch, but they're just microscope slides, so they're very thin little pieces of glass and, um, in a box of 72, so you can make your mistakes. It's, they're really cheap and it's no big deal to experiment. So that's the glass, and then here's, I didn't clean these up yet, but here, these are like the, this is uh, a two inch piece, I think that's two inch, and then here's this would be a one and a half, or this is a one and a half inch approximately. There's a one and a half inch, and there's like a domed or arched one and a half inch piece. I think that's better for a necklace, unless you like them really chunky. But a three inch necklace, I mean that's a big old long piece. That would make a good Christmas ornament, I think. Or, you know, sun catcher or something. Oh, you come here. Come on, we need a little cuteness in this video. Come here. Come here. What do you think? Is it like a trap? Come here. Don't you run away. We need some cuteness. There. There. We need a little cuteness. There. We need a little schnauzery cuteness. How about that? You smell like me. What are you getting into? Okay. Look at that. Oh, okay, dodgy. Look at that handsome beard. That is an impressive beard. That's the little shop dog. Okay. Go do your business. Go catch some mice. Okay, so. Um, okay, so that's the glass situation. Very clean. And I just mark them. Um, some of them are inkjet. Some of them are... Um, I'll, I'll send Kinko's and I'll get color laser copies. And, um, but laser does not do that well in a soldered, in a soldered pendant because the heat heats up the laser paper and, um, it gets really dark. It, it works good. Laser, uh, copies are good if you're doing it under, um, a resin or, um, like DG3 or, uh, what's that other stuff? I haven't done it in so long. I can't remember what it's called. But, you know, that, Augie, what are you doing? You know, but like a paper glaze kind of stuff, um, because it won't bleed. But if you're going to put it under under uh, glass, and then you're going to use some kind of heat source, uh, I wouldn't use laser. I don't use laser because it the heat uh, darkens it and it ruins the image. So I use inkjet for um, for anything I'm soldering. So anyway, I put them in these these uh, clear sleeves. And, and then I just step, I either print or, um, or these collage sheets, and then I put them in these so that I can go through them quickly. Because if they're on my computer, I'll forget I have them. I don't want to sit at the computer. The reason I do crafty stuff is to get away from the computer as much as I can. So um, that's why I like to come out in the garage or the workshop. Anyway, so... Um, and this is fun, and especially if I'm making it for a friend or a gift or something, then um, we don't want to sit at the computer and go through that. But I don't really sell them anymore because 
I just couldn't make it profitable. I'd have to sell them for 100 bucks a piece if I was going to, you know, make it profitable. It's just, it's more for fun, for pleasure. Okay, so I have like six or seven of these because if I just put them in a box or leave them on my computer, I'll forget what I bought and then I'll buy some more and we don't want that. So I got enough. I've got enough images. So I print one sheet out and I keep it in here so that I can flip through it. That's much more fun than sitting at the computer clicking away. And then you can take your little piece of glass and, um, you know, hold it up and see if you like the way it's going to look. That's my process. Okay. Now, let's get on with it. Then, oh, because I need to go through all my steps here. So, that's that. Um, okay, so then I sandwich it all up nice and tight. I'm holding it together exactly as I want it. Then I take my copper tape, which I've gotten at the stained glass store. It comes in a great big roll for about 8 to $10. And um, I've cut little pieces um, the size that I usually use. And you peel off the back. And then... Um, I've shown this in a couple other videos, so you can refer back to that if you really need to see how to do it. I've already shown how to do it, and you can see it online, too. But anyway, so you're going to um, stick this on here, uh, stick the copper tape around it, and burnish it. So look that up. Google burnish copper tape, and, and you'll have to have someone else show you how to do that, or watch my other videos, because I don't feel like doing it right now. Okay, so you put the copper tape on. I just use... I mean, you can use a bone folder. I don't use a bone folder for this. I use one of these little coffee stir sticks. I don't know why. I just like it better because it's flat and it has hard right angles. Here's a picture from that uh, lady on Etsy cer ceremony. Isn't that pretty? That's a, it's just an egg. And then this, oh, I'll tell you what this is. It's just a picture from an old um, book page. And it's just like a, a something from a birding book about robins nesting or something. I used al caramel colored alcohol ink on the inside of the glass and then hit it with a dryer so it would dry fast. I didn't want to put it on the outside because then when I clean it, um, I actually use rubbing alcohol to clean the glass and clean the, um, the solder. What is he eating over there? Okay, so... Um, I don't want that on the outside because it's going to get washed away. So it's on the inside. So then I put the copper tape on and I burnish it like this. We burnish means to like push it down against the glass, you know, get all the bubbles and just really uh, get the stickiness to stick to the glass. You just get it all smooth so there's no wrinkles or as few wrinkles as possible. So then you got this nice little sandwich piece of glass and you've got the sticky copper tape and Personally, I think it looks pretty cute with the copper. Sometimes I'm tempted to just uh, find a way to put a bale on it. And, well, I guess there's really no way to put the bale. But if you drill a hole in the glass, you could put the bale right through there. I think it looks cute with the copper tape, but it's not going to be sturdy. That would be like a temporary thing. Um, I haven't found a good way to make the solder gold. There is a good way to make it black. Um, a couple good ways to make it black to blacken it and age it, but I haven't found a good way to make it gold permanently. I would like to know if you know a way, but so silver it is. So let's go ahead and make, uh, add the silver solder. Shall we? <laughs> 